What's up guys, name is Ray and welcome to another 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. Today I made a preparation guide in order of the release of the new Lost Lane Meliodas that do come out eventually this week, this coming week or next week. So we do not know exactly but if I have to guess I do think that he will come out in the upcoming week in the next patch. Um, I don't have evidence but because uh, all those big gachas released their hype units this week already. So if we talk about Dokkan, which will reveal its units tomorrow, we have Dragon Ball Legends already released a new legendary finish unit this week, which is like the same, like a festival exclusive unit. Then we have Pokemon Masters with their first year anniversary, also just released three big EX units. Um, I'm not too much into Pokemon Masters, so don't judge me if I did say something wrong. But I, I do know that it uh, that the releases were pretty hyped, though. So, yeah, but the video is not to, for discussing if he will come out or if he won't come out. It is a preparation guide, so let's just hop into the guide. So I prepared five points that you can do in order of his release to be prepared to get right away with him when he drops. So let's just hop in with the introduction. Then I want to tell you something about the potions, the awakening materials, gear sets and affinity and cosmetics. That It may seem a bit obvious to you, but this is like a guide more for players that recently started with the game not so much for more experienced players, but I think there are like one or two informations that still might help you. So yeah, let's just hop into the introduction. Yeah, that's Lost Vein Meliodas. I, I don't want to cover his skills too much. I think they are like just um, the most important thing is his passive, that if he gets a critical hit, all his cards will rank up, which is one of the most broken thing because his crit resistance is 0%. He fills his uh, ultimate pretty fast and he ignores defense with his second card. He does AoE. So yeah, it is most likely to say that he is the best unit in the game with no doubt and he will be relevant for a very long time. Yeah, I, I don't want to go too deep into his abilities because there are like a couple of videos that are already covering that. So I just want to go um, or want to stick with my guide. So let's go with the potions. Yeah, this is a thing that may seem very, very obvious, but potions are things that run out really quickly. So I had experienced that a couple of times and this week is half stamina. So you can farm the potions in the full circus event on the weekend. So I would recommend the 5th or the 6th stage. I would more recommend the 6th stage. But if you can't clear the 6th stage, do the 5th stage. It's okay too. You have a 29 and 3% chance of the 4 star and 5 star enhancement potions. And a 68% chance of the 3 star potions. So they run out really quickly. Just toss in your units for 2 to 3 hours. And you will have enough to awaken him from level 0 to level 80. Next thing is awakening materials. So I didn't cover the horns in this video because I forgot honestly. But uh, what I would recommend is to do all the demons, all the six demons daily. So just want to show you real quick in the game. So if you go uh, on the boss stage, uh, do all the six here and do them until the demon spawns and then clear the demon and that will give you like enough horns um, if you can do it on extreme with help it would be i think very recommended but it is also okay if you can do it on normal so honestly i i just uh, order them all and order them at normal but i i'm stuck with materials and after that you can go to the city or to any location, go to 
this little girl and buy like all this food stuff to be prepared for uh, future stuff so i did miss out on that and also you can buy the awakening materials here so this will um, save you a lot of time to be honest on the long term so for every other unit that will come out in the future eventually so let's go back to the presentation you will need 1.3 million gold to fully awaken him to 6 star. Um, luckily we don't have super awakening yet, but these are like all the materials that you will need for his awakening. Because he is a 7 deadly sins character, he will need water of life. So if you don't know yet, all 7 deadly sins character and Elizabeth will need water of life to fully awaken. And there are all these different materials with the numbers that you will farm so yeah as i said just do all the boss stages and you're you're fine next thing is gear sets so for me there are just two pretty obvious gear sets that you can use of him it will be defense attack and crit damage attack on the jp version i am using a crit damage attack set and i can say from my experience that he one shots anything so yeah anything if uh, if I manage to get his ult, I I have a 100% win chance with this guy, so he is like insane. So if you want to go for full damage, I would recommend the crit damage attack set. But I do think that the attack defense set could be more consistent. So because I only tested one gear set, I can't give a clear answer which gear set of those would be better. But what I can tell you is... Um, the order of the gear sets will be a important thing um, if you want to try this unit out. So I would recommend to do a to position your defense um, pieces on the top row, so you can just exchange them for the crit damage sets if you like to. So just prepare the earring and the necklace and so on um, for the bottom rows. And put them on five star, plus five, everything. You can also make them euro if you can. Euro is only something um, for people that can clear the draining cave. So for more experienced players that already built out the box, and then just left them on SSR, the top pieces. And then you can just test them for the first one or two weeks on PvP. But you can prepare this before he release. So if he drops, you can give him the. Um, Give him the gear set and then just test it. So I will do attack defense on global if you are interested in that. Because I already have the attack crit damage on JP. So I can do the tests for global and JP simultaneously. So if you like content on that, just let me know. So I can do a showcase for a crit damage last man Meliodas and a attack defense Meliodas. Um, yeah. That's it for the gear set, I guess. Next thing is affinity. So because this is a Meliodas character, he likes herb grilled beef and honey pudding. So these are the ingredients that you need to cook it for him. So he will need 200 of any of those dishes to maximize his affinity. So you will get this Lost Wain sword. Which will give you 200 attack, uh, 210 attack, plus 1% crit chance, and plus 6% crit damage. Um, yeah, this is something that a lot of people miss out at the beginning. So they they most likely do it one or two days later, or even weeks later. But this is something now you know that the, that this is a Meliodas character. So any Meliodas character needs the same food. So you can cook this before to prepare. And just toss it in him when he releases and you just get a UR cosmetic. So if you didn't notice, any other character would have a SSR cosmetic. So he will get a UR cosmetic right away. And it is a attack set which is very, very good for him. So last thing I want to show you are skin pieces, cosmetics that this guy is using. Pretty quick. Uh, a pretty quick overview so 
I think in the first two weeks when this guy releases, the cosmetics will just be available for. Uh, let's start here. Just will be available for dollars. So if you're free to play, you will have to wait two weeks at least before um, his cosmetics will be available for diamonds. But the good thing on him is that his cosmetics are available permanently. So it's not like the knighthood or the sailor event where you just have like two weeks time to buy them with diamonds. So you have a lot more time to buy his skins and he will be relevant long enough. Oh, I did misclick on that. I did misclick again. So there is one um, skin set that I don't have. It is a free to play one. Yeah, I was a bit lazy when, when the anniversary dropped on the JP side. So I, I just did summons, but I didn't farm the skins because I was too lazy to look for the translations for the missions. But there is a free to play skin that applies to all uh, Meliodas in the game, not only Lost Wayne, because because he's an exclusive character, he doesn't share the wardrobe, as you can see. So I can just show you real quick that this Meliodas has the same skins as the Lost Lane one. So yeah, the free to play one will come out eventually um, later. No, it will come out later for sure, but I, I do not know when it will come out because I do think that uh, Goddess Elizabeth uh, will drop earlier. It did come to to the anniversary, and I don't think that Goddess Elizabeth will be delayed until the anniversary. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I could help you with a little preparation for this. This insane dude that will come out next week. Everybody's pulling for him. I wish you good luck. Next week there will be some summon videos for him. I did plan a special video. Don't know if it works out. But yeah, you guys will see. So hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. And see you guys next time.